What's up everybody? Coming at you today with another thought question. Thought question number nine. By the way, if you guys have any thought questions, I'm interested to hear them. DM me or leave them in the comments below. Or maybe I'm the only weird person that thinks about these, these questions. I don't know. Anyway, okay, so the thought question. We're in the future. We're in 2022. Can you believe that? That's crazy. Of course, it doesn't feel crazy. Why? Because we're in it. We're living it. So anytime that you're in something, your brain normalizes it. So then it's no longer impressive. But I remember back in the day when I was in fifth grade, we were talking about the year 2000. Like, oh man, the year 2000. You remember Conan O'Brien? In the year 2000. <laughs> Let us all look to the future, all the way to the year 2000. We're in the year 2022. Even if you look at Back to the Future, part two, that movie takes place in the future, way in the future. There's flying cars, all kind of crazy stuff going on. And that movie took place in 2019. And we're in 2022. That means we're already past what was depicted in Back to the Future Part 2. I just watched a movie the other day called Johnny Mnemonic. And that movie took place way off in the future, 2021. And here we are, 2022. Okay, enough of that. We're in the future. That, that, that's my point. And what I'm trying to drive home here is because we're in the future, there's a lot of things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. The way that we see the world our daily habits and routines that are peculiar, maybe not to us, but they would definitely be peculiar to somebody from the past. And if that doesn't make any sense, I'll give you a couple of examples here, okay? You might have heard me mention this before in another video, but I've always kind of found that working out is weird because I imagine myself being back in the day, like a thousand years ago, and then come into the present and then looking at people exercise. I think that that would be a strange thing to kind of witness and comprehend. Another way you can think of it is imagine if you were to get into a time machine, go into the past, let's say a thousand years, get somebody, bring them into the present, and then show them what our world looks like. What would this person think? And I say, hey, look, you see that building over there? It's called the gym. And people go in there and they just move things around just for their health and fitness. I think this person would probably think that would be kind of weird because this person would be used to, let's say, walking, jogging, or running. Why? To get somewhere. They're trying to get from point A to point B, but now people walk, jog, and run just to do it. They're not trying to get anywhere. Like people are literally standing still on a treadmill running, going nowhere. People go for jogs and they just run around. They're not trying to get anywhere. They're just running out and coming back. Back in the day, people picked something up, you know, squatted, moved things around to build something, to move something. Now, people pick things up to get, get a workout. I'm not saying that that's wrong. I'm just saying it's kind of weird. That's how far off in the future we are. Another example I'll give you is if you were to go back in the day. Let's say you went all the way into the past, all the way back to 2019 and you were to get somebody from 2019 and bring them to the present now they're here 2022 and you take them into a store and they look around and they say whoa why are all these people wearing masks on their face that's weird i'm not saying that wearing masks is wrong i'm just saying it would be weird to somebody from the past so that's the thought question hopefully you're following me if you could go back in time, I'll let you choose a time, 10 years, 50 years, 100 years, 1,000 years, get somebody from that time, bring them to the present, what kind of things would they find peculiar? And I think this does a couple of things. One is I think it gets your mind thinking in a different way. One thing I definitely think it can potentially do is it can give you appreciation for the things that you have now. So for example, Somebody back in the day might look up and see that light and say, whoa, that's weird. You just hit a, hit a switch and light comes on? Of course, it's like, now it doesn't matter. It's like, eh, who cares? It's just a light switch, Paul. 
But the point is putting yourself in that mind frame of somebody in the past. Now I'm looking at this light and I'm thinking, man, thank you. I can just turn, turn the light on so easy when it's dark. I don't need to light a candle, anything like that. So that's the thought question, guys. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. So hopefully you guys decide to interact with this video. Maybe leave a comment below on something that you think that would be interesting to somebody in the past, something that they would find peculiar. God bless you all. Peace.